Greetings. These six travelers have returned to the Kingdom of Raven in their quest to become the ultimate warrior. But ever more daunting challenges await them in this final week of their journey. Friends, through previous trials, you have shown your strength, wisdom, and courage. But only one of you can become our champion. Who amongst you has the qualities to earn the Staff of Power? Let us find out. Come. We have returned to the Warrior's Gate, the threshold between a world of peace and a land of terrors. But before we can pass through these mighty ramparts, you must once again claim an emblem to sustain you through the journey ahead. Before you are six winches. You must assemble them and race the hoist the gold cases up to the walls. Once raised, your penance will unfurl, proudly displaying your new emblems. Those who display their emblems the quickest will be rewarded. So, are you ready to take up this first task? Then, let the challenge begin. The quicker the warriors can assemble their winches, the sooner they can use them to hoist their pennants. Each warrior must find their own method to turn the winches as fast as possible. My friends, may you continue to show such determination through the trials ahead. You have all earned your emblems and a standard on which to bear them. Tezan, your emblem is the mountain. May you stand high above all others. Rohak, your emblem is water. May it carry you far. Kenat, your emblem is the sun. May the darkness shrink before you. Tonesh, your emblem is the cloud. May you float high above your troubles. Najad, your emblem is the moon. May its light guide you through the darkest night. Kerud, your emblem is the tree. Though storm winds may sway you, they will not break your will. Look to your standards. There you will see nine golden feathers. Once we pass through the warrior's gate, failure in any challenge will cost you one of these lives. Now, I promise the swiftest amongst you in this first task would be rewarded. Najad. As you unfurled your pennant first, three gold rings are for you. Tezan, you followed close behind, so two gold rings are for you. And Rohak, you are also quick, so one gold ring is yours. Place your rings on your standards. Are you all ready to pass through the warrior's gate? Then come. Just won the Warriors Gate. I'm really happy. Getting three rings gives me a good start, and I'm hoping for the best in all my other challenges. I'm very pleased that I managed to come second in Warriors Gate. I came fourth last time, so it's quite good. I'm happy I'm the sun because I really like the emblem and I like the colour red as well. It's quite difficult to spin the winches round with two hands because they keep getting tangled as the winch spins round and round. Then do 
too well. I struggled to get in the second wheel on quite a bit. And by the time I had started, everyone else had started before me. I really enjoyed Warriors Gate and I came third and got a ring and got my new emblem, the Wave. And I'm really looking forward to all the challenges ahead. To have reached this stage of the quest, you have defeated many a foe. But in this next challenge, it will be with each other that you must battle. Two at a time, you'll race in coracles to reach the gold ring in the middle of the marsh. The warrior who pulls himself along the rope the quickest will win the prize. But for the slower warrior, losing the race means losing a life. Tezan, Nejad, are you ready? Then, let the challenge begin. Tonesh, Rohak, one of you will join Najad in victory. Are you ready? Then let the challenge begin. Kerud, Kenat, one final ring lies glittering before you. Which of you shall shine and claim it as your own? Are you ready? Then let the challenge begin. Kenat, Rohak, Najad, you pulled harder and your efforts have been rewarded. Place your rings on your standards. Kerud, Tonesh, Tezan, though you all showed determination, you all lost the race. Each of you must lose a life. Now, for our next challenge, we must once again venture onto the water. Or should I say, into water? Come. I've just won Chesa Ring. I'm really pleased to have done it, but I didn't really want to face Tezan in this challenge because we've been together from the start and we're really good friends. I wasn't quite quick enough and I was ahead of her at first, but my rope slipped for a while and she got in front of me. 
it was a really close race between Kerud and I. I didn't have any tactics, I just tried to pull as fast as I could. I was pulling my hardest, but then at one point I caught this part of the rope that I couldn't pull and it put me off course a wee bit. I was beating Rohak for quite a way until my hand slipped and I think I lost control of the rope and the coracle. I think Tonish would have beat me if the coracle hadn't spun around about halfway through the challenge and I pulled, managed to pull away there. Our day's journey is half complete. We cannot move forward until we have crossed the deep loch. As it is not frozen over, the only option is to swim. The first warrior to reach the far bank will claim three gold treasurings, the second two and the third one. But whoever is last to reach dry land will forfeit a life. Is this clear to you all? Then let the challenge begin. and stand by the back. Almost there, young Najad. Well done, young warrior. Join your comrades on the bank. Well done, my young friends. Rohak, Tonesh, Tezan. The deep lock is a daunting trial, but you have each earned treasure. Place your rings on your standards. Kenat and Kerud. Though you did not reach the bank in time to claim gold rings, you were swift enough to preserve your lives. Alas for you, Nijad. Though you completed this challenge, you were last to reach dry land. And as I warned, the forfeit is the loss of a life. Now, as you do not have a campfire around which to warm yourselves, the wind will have to suffice. Come. I'm glad that I managed to come first. I'm a pretty good swimmer, so it didn't surprise me. I got off to a bad start. Rohat kept kicking me in the stomach because he was right in front of me, and the water was splashing in my face from the people in front of me as well. Before the challenge, I was a bit worried because all the other warriors told me that they'd been in the loch before, and I've never been in there before, so I didn't know what to expect. And when I did go in there, it was a bit of a shock. I saw that Tezan was quite away in front of me, and even though I tried my hardest, I couldn't overtake her. I decided to keep an eye on Rohak as well, because he was constantly edging on me, and I was determined not to lose second place. This is the dead man's vault, where once again, gold rings are seemingly beyond your reach. But if you are to gain entry and win gold, then you will need sharp wits. For the door to this vault is locked by a most ingenious mechanism. To unlock it, you must guide a ball safely through the intricate workings. But be warned, there are many traps in which the ball may fall. That will spell defeat and the loss of a life. Now this challenge 
is for our leaders alone to face. So, Rohak, Kenat, this challenge falls to you. Remember, warriors, there is only one safe path through the mechanism. Be sure to choose the right way. Are you ready? Then, let the challenge begin. Yeah, close to the gap. Yeah. Okay, don't, I won't let it fall down there. Try and get it down this one. You stick yours. Wait a minute. If I close that gap, bring, pull your stick back, but try not to move the ball too much. Yeah, tip it up. All right. Okay, where now? We want it to go down onto this platform here. So you close that gap up there. A lucky escape for the warriors. They have narrowly avoided disaster. You've got to close that gap up. Look, use the other end, use the other end. Push it onto yours and you can. No, wait a minute, think about it. Well, I'll take this. No, you close that gap and put it down this way. There? No, this one, actually. Right. And then it can fall down. Oh, yeah, this... and then I'll drop it there. Yeah, and... And then you can push it. No. But I have to get it... Once no, you've what... pushed it, move it down to this here to close off the gap. So you can push it off there. Right, go. Well, this side fit in. Yeah. But you're gonna have to close off that gap. This one in here. Yeah, this one here. All the way along. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta work. Right. Right. Keep hold. Just keep it there now. You want? Right. Right, and then you've got to push it along mine, and then, and then I'll push mine out the other end. No, no, no. You just pull yours along like I did. But slowly, don't let it fall down. No, 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 no. Actually, I'll. No, I I'll drop do. it off it. Okay. Yeah. Warriors, you have proved more than a match for the locksmith who designed this puzzle. Enter and claim your reward. Rohak, Kenat, you will no doubt have discovered why it is called the Dead Man's Vault. I do hope you found your host hospitable. Place your prize on your standard. Now, even though the locksmith was crafty, even he would admire the handiwork of your next adversaries. Come. It was easier than it looked. I think Rohak and I worked well as a team, but there was one point when it got stuck and I thought we were gonna lose a life, but I managed to push the ball up. I think we worked really well together on that challenge as we communicated with each other and talked all the way towards the bottom so we knew where we were going and none of us were like second guessing each other. Warriors, you have encountered many sinister creatures on our journey. Though your next opponents may be small, they can be deadly. We have arrived at Spider's Wood. Like you, spiders treasure golden rings, and three of them hang cocooned within their lair. But if you are to claim the rings, you must move through the poisonous maze of webs using these wooden boards. You must work together 
if you are to collect the rings and escape the web safely. Kerud, Rohak, Najar, you will be first to take up this challenge. Touch the deadly webs or fall to the forest floor and you will be lost to the spiders. Any rings you drop will be lost also. Are you ready? Then let the challenge begin. Warriors must hurry. They cannot stay on the webs indefinitely, or they will be overcome by the webs' noxious fumes. I watch your head almost keep really well. Okay, okay, Ninja. Right, get on when we roll. Um, carried and then pass your thing along. Yeah, pass your Keep low. Just keep low. Yeah. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Come on, do more. Oh, it made it. You made it. Right. I just try and get it through. I push it on the top. Right, I'm going to have to go really low. Do you want to pass that one? No, Dad. Hold that ring. That way. Yeah. Right, stay down. Just stay down. You feel it. Oh, watch out, there's more in here. And watch out for that little part there. Right. Yeah, keep low. Keep down, keep down. Yeah, 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 I'm not going yet. Put it underneath. Okay, sorry. Slide it under. How much we don't want it to get caught though? Right, we've got to step over this one, yeah? Yeah, hold on. You have seen your comrades successfully negotiate the lethal webs. Will you too prove a match for the deadly spiders? Are you ready? Then let the challenge begin. Get the ring. Ring as soon as you can. 
You are working well, warriors. But do not take too long. Okay. Now keep down, keep down, keep down, Tessa. Right, which way? Okay, go. Quick, quick. We're taking quick. Faster, go faster. Okay, be careful, Tessa, because it's rope just there. Oh, it's stuck under. Wait a sec. That's it, Kenneth. Okay. Right, there's one. There's just there. Don't step on it. Right. Be careful. Okay then. Okay. Come on. We can do this. Okay, keep going. Push it quite far forward, put a bit of a gap. Careful, be really careful. Right. There you go. Come on. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, throw it a bit, don't let it overlap this time. That's it. Okay, we're nearly there. Warriors, though the spiders built their deadly webs with care, through your careful progress, you have survived this challenge and earned your reward. Place your rings on your standards. So, another dusk beckons on the final stage of the journey. The warriors' dreams will be full of hopes and fears, but they should remember, it is better to dream of victory than to not imagine it at all. Next time on Raven, which warriors will smash through the ramparts to take the treasure in Battering Ram? Can they avoid the demons and the burning gaze of Navar's eye? And who can turn their strength to triumph in Ringrack?